How you going, people? Man, I normally don't uh don't necessarily want to uh assist government because I think they're the biggest enemy, but this dude's a piece of shit. He shoots and kills this woman uh, in front of kids because I hear the kids screaming. Now look, I guarantee you, this guy, he knows this woman. This is a personal shooting. Um, you don't actually see the woman getting shot, but you see this guy's actions. Um, and I guess LAPD is asking a assistance in this shooting. Suspect shot the president of her young children. Video shooting is available at LAPD online. Uh, mission never responded. Call for service. A shooting at a car. That's call for service. Shooting occurred. Call for service. Once at the location is a 35 Hispanic woman who had seen multiple gunshot paramedics and responded to the scene. She was pronounced dead. Wow. He freaking killed her right in front of her kids. What a piece of shit. Valley Bureau homicide detectives soon investigation. Prenera revealed the victim's former boyfriend had fired multiple. I figured. I didn't read this before. Uh, multiple rounds. Suspect possibly identified as Herbert Nixon Flores. Mr. Flores. I think there was a Flores that just entered doctor school. I bet you he, she wasn't giving him money to pay for his uh, doctor books. Describes 46-year-old Hispanic male, six foot one. He didn't look that tall in the video. Flores considered armed and dangerous, you think? He freaking ran up, shot an unarmed woman multiple times and killed her? Yeah, that's pretty good armed and dangerous. The public is urged not to confront him. Yeah, don't confront him because you need the police, because the government will save you, because only the government can protect you. Let me tell you, Mr. Flores, if I see you, uh, deadly force is authorized. You are a dangerous fleeing felon. Anyone that sees this guy and shoots him, deadly force is authorized. Not that I would ever encourage any violence. I think we should all hug it up, reach across the aisle, and tolerance and acceptance is the rule of the day. Let's see. Any further information? Here's the numbers to call. All right, let's look at this uh, Ness video. Okay, so let's look. This is, I, you know, I know, I know YouTube will be like, oh, we have to protect people. Look, people, this is life. This is reality. You can hide from it and you can run around with your little filters on and have YouTube protect you so you don't have to ever see anything bad. But this shit's going to save someone's life because she made some mistakes that maybe could have saved her. That car was probably a better place. She knew the second she's getting in the back of the car, she knew the second she saw him that he was a danger. So my guess is either there was a restraining order, she should have got a restraining order, or she should have armed herself to defend herself and her kids. If she had a gun, he wouldn't have been so big and powerful. People that do this are cowards. So they're allowed to do this because the liberals want to make you safe and let you depend on government. Where was government? Even if she was on the phone with government, she's still dead. Government shows up afterwards to draw chalk lines. They do not protect you when you need them. They come afterwards. So, you know, the fact that she wasn't armed... That's a problem with Los Angeles. You can't have a gun. Only bad people can have guns and only government, which is the same as bad people, can have guns in law for in, in uh, LAPD or LA area. So had she been able to hold a gun, had she been able to defend herself, maybe she could have defended herself and kids. Um, so look at her reactions. She's getting in the car. As soon as he starts pulling up, she recognizes the danger pretty quickly. As soon as she sees him, she's like, Oh, shit. If, had she had a gun, she could have stood her ground. She could have got behind the car. She could have fired multiple rounds, even if she wasn't proficient, even if she only hit him once. Most of these cowards that shoot unarmed people, they only attack them because they're unarmed. 
If if he knew she had a gun, he probably wouldn't have did this. Okay, so she leaves her kids. Obviously, I'm I'm hopefully thinking that she knows he's not going to hurt her kids and he's only after her. Uh, most mothers would have stayed. But anyway, she ran. I know, Rick, she's a single mom. She's perfect. Okay. Okay, she would have been better to circle a car and hide from him and keep something between her. Her tactics was to run and be fearful. And then she just ran to the door where she's trapped. She is trapped in this area. This is a bad move. Uh, could she have jumped the fence? I don't know. These fences look pretty small. I could have jumped it. Distance is her friend. As soon as she lost the ability to keep distance and to create distance or to keep a barrier between her, she was screwed. She's a victim looking for a place to happen, and he found her right here. Uh, very unfortunate. I'm not blaming this woman in any way, shape, or form other than the fact that she's probably a left-wing liberal. She's probably voting for gun control. She probably believes when government says, give up your guns, we'll protect you. Only government should have guns. That's the only fault that she has here. When you give up the right to protect yourself, this is what you become, a victim for any predator that wants to take advantage of you being unarmed. But Rick, he probably couldn't have a gun if he was a restraining order. And he was a felon. He maybe wasn't in the country illegal. There was a thousand reasons why this guy, that won't be the focus of this. You know what the focus of this will be? If we had more gun control, if we got rid of more guns from lawful citizens, this wouldn't have happened. And you'll have idiots believing that, giving up their guns, doing gun buybacks. This woman died because she wasn't able to defend herself, because her only defense was to run and maybe dial 911. And then they're going to show up just like they did and say, hey, she's dead. Let's start an investigation. Let's put out who killed her. Let's put out a manhunt. Great. That really doesn't help her. Bad move right here. Here he comes. She's trapped. He's a, he's a predator. I mean, this is nothing more than a lion attacking a cornered zebra. And he's going to come in and do what lions do. Why? Because there's nothing to stop him. Because 911 and all the police in the world, LAPD has more cops. They probably got, what, 10,000 cops? And they still can't keep... Look, nobody can protect you but yourself. You need to take responsibility and stop giving that to government. <laughs> So this guy, I mean, he's just tunnel vision. He doesn't care. One shot, shot shooting looks like a small revolver. Aim doesn't say anything. Cold-blooded murder. Now, this guy, because he's in California, when he's caught, and he will be caught, either he'll kill himself, he'll commit suicide by cop. Oh, that's a great term. Yeah, that's legal, justified. Cops get to kill people. So they'll either label it as suicide by cop or he shoots himself. Or if he goes to prison, he'll be locked up. He'll be on suicide watch. He'll be able to apply for COVID aid. He'll get extra money. He'll be all protected because his rights are important. Uh, the left will be coming out saying they're only picking on him because he's illegal or because he's Hispanic. Or they'll have all these reasons. Meanwhile, this mother is dead because she didn't have the ability to defend herself. And nobody will talk about that. Nobody will talk about government and L.A. being the biggest gun control in the world and freaking this is what happens every day. Nobody will want to talk about that side of this. So I, I think it was six rounds. That's a revolver. Maybe it was a five round revolver. I can slow it down and count the rounds. I don't know how many rounds he fired. Six rounds. And he fired another round. Right there he fired and he figured out he was out of rounds. So he had a six round revolver. Of course, the liberals will tell you, no, no. If we just get rid of the high capacity mags, that's the problem. See, you people shouldn't have more than a magazine with ten rounds. Revolvers had six rounds. You only need one round to kill somebody. Once they get the ten round mags, they'll get the six round revolvers. And once they get the six round revolvers, they'll get the single shots. And they'll have videos of somebody getting killed with a single round. It's not about the guns. It's about control. It's about disarming you. It's about making you dependent on government. This woman is dead because she thought that government would protect her. She thought that not having a gun was a good thing.
Wow. There'll be somebody saying, my client, this young man is a good man. This woman did bad things to him. Notice he did not hurt the kids. He's a good guy. He didn't shoot the kids. He could have, and he didn't. He's really a good guy. That's what somebody will be trying to sell in the freaking court and trial of this piece of shit. Outrageous. I hope they catch him, but you know what? He just might go back across the border, you know, because we don't want to have walls or anything, and he can run across the border and hide. Yeah, okay, I know. And we'll, somehow this will be a racial issue, and because these people had white cars and that their target, whatever. I mean, it, you know, nobody will blame this guy. This guy's at fault. It's not guns. It's not her fault. It's really not even government's fault that he did this. It's government fault that they push the control agenda and take guns away from people so they can't defend themselves from guys like this. But this guy is responsible for this killing. And no gun, no car, no color, no one else, no female. This guy is responsible. And that's something you won't behold because that's not a message that people want people to think about. Outrageous. So they have a good picture of him and his car pulling away. I don't know if you get the point here. Maybe they found uh, other footage. And that... I can't see a plate. I thought maybe I could see a plate through here. Maybe if they enhanced it. Enhanced it. What happens when you do a neighborhood canvas on something like this on a shooting, when the cops come in because it's a murder investigation, every house in this area, up and down this path on where he approached and where he left. They will be looking for nest doorbells. They will be looking for exterior cameras. If he turns left or right, they will be checking the gas stations for cameras, cameras on the streets. So they're going to end up getting this guy's plate. Since they've already said they identified him, uh, they, did they say what kind of car or the plate? Suspects identify with Herbert. I didn't see the vehicle description in here. Uh, yeah, so... I'm sure they got, if you run this guy's name as a cop and they're doing an investigation, it'll say all cars register him. Unfortunately, most people that are out there committing crimes like this will either borrow a friend's car, will either go rent a car, or will steal a car. So the car may not be in his name, even if they get the plates, but it will still give a lead to where the cops can go to wherever the car he was driving. They will go there and either get more video footage or will get who gave him the car or what he said. And did they know he had a gun? This gun appears to be a very small caliber 22. It is not kicking at all. If you watch this first shot here, there's not a lot of recoil. I mean, this gun barely recoils at all. I would venture to say this is a 22, which is another reason gun control is stupid because they'll be saying, oh, we need to get the mean M16 round or the mean rifle round or this mean round. It's not the round. This gun has no recoil. I would venture to say they didn't say but I think this is probably a 22 caliber pistol because it has absolutely zero kick. A 38 would be kicking much more than this. A 9 mil, any pistol round would be kicking pretty, would be moving his hands. And his hand did not move at all in this shooting. There's, there's the frame. Very little recoil. I can't even tell. Is it a semi-automatic? May not be a revolver. I don't see any uh I don't see any slide action, but it almost looks like a semi-automatic here. And I don't see any shells leaving. Uh semi-automatics would be ejecting shells, which they would know because they would find shell casing. Revolvers would not. So I am not sure. To me, it's a small caliber gun. All right, I hope they catch this piece of shit. Uh, I don't know why they're not putting out a name. I'm sure maybe if you go to their website, there'll be a name. Let me check. Okay, they did put out. See, this is what's great about the internet, man. The information is out there. But the problem is the government only wants to be able to put out what they want. And YouTube only wants you to put out what they want. And everybody only wants... Information is always better. More information gives people the ability to make more decisions. When YouTube is limiting information and the government's limiting information, they're doing it for their benefit. They are not doing it for your benefit. Again, that's critical thinking in, in YouTube and the government doesn't want that. Let's see here. Tech for Seek. 
Herbert Nixon Flores. This looks like a prior booking photo. Rick, you can't say that. He's probably never committed a crime. He's been a good... Okay, whatever. Uh, 6 a.m., 35, responsible. They're preliminary investigation. Former Vero friend, multiple shots. Semi-automatic. Wow, it was a semi. I didn't see any shell casing. If it was a semi-automatic, why didn't they say what size it was? Uh, not that it mattered. I mean, it'll matter to them because they probably found shell casings. I didn't see shell casings come out. Suspects have been positively identified six feet. Uh, armed and dangerous. Tipster. Okay, pretty much what they put on the video. Now, see, YouTube might censor and remove my video, but they won't remove LEPDs. Why? Because they're the government. And YouTube gets government protection. So government gets special special access and special ability to do what they want on YouTube because YouTube gets government protections. You can't sue them. They get to be biased. They get to push their agenda. They get to lie to you and tell you what truth is and what truth isn't. And you don't get the ability to research and find alternative information. Anyway, uh, hope they catch the guy. Well, that there, LAPD uh, online. There's the Nest video. And until YouTube takes it down, but um, they'll probably just take mine down, leave LAPDs up. All right, we'll end that there.